get your on it. You know, live not to such a swanny granny. Booyakasha. There's a new king in town, and its name is Ali G. Recognize. <laughs> I is addressing the whole of Great Britain and England too. And I hope Channel 4 is keeping their promise and also showing this live in Jamaica. Wapan, everything airy. <laughs> now I send out respect to the royal family. Big up yourself, Elizabeth. Shout going out to the Windsor Massive, aye. Right? <laughs> but if you at home is switched over from the Queen's speech, me understand. She ain't as fit as she used to be. In fact, the closest I is ever gonna let a match get to me beast is when I put a 10p piece in my pocket. <laughs> Many important thing happened in 1999 that would change the world forever. In January, the new KFC opened up in Egham High Street next to the benefit office. So now when we collect me dough, I can just pop next door and have some chicken. In March, my sister, Lost her cherry four or five times. <laughs> but this year has also been a sad year. In August, it was the anniversary of Fergie's death. It has not been the same without her. But there was happiness too for the royals, as this year, of course, saw the lovely wedding of Prince Edmund, who finally proved that he ain't batty. <laughs> but let's not forget about what this day actually means. Christmas is a wonderful time because everybody goes and visits their families, leaving their houses empty for some unique burgling opportunity. <laughs> now, believe it or not, Christmas is also celebrated by some religious people, because even the name Christmas is named after a very important historical figure, Father Christmas, <laughs> whose real name is Jesus. He was born over 2,000 years ago, so if he was alive today, He'd probably be dead. <laughs> what would he think about the world? I went to meet a real expert on Christmas to find out. Peace. Check it, I is here with none other than Reverend Geoffrey Roper, him be the General Secretary of the Free Churches Council. And he is here to tell us about the old Christmas thing. So Jesus, what was he like? Was he really all that? Yes, he was. People realise when they listen to him, they got wisdom, they got real wise words. So he was a bit like Tupac Shakur. <laughs> you tell me about him, I don't know about He him. is a very known rapper who unfortunately passed away, was yeah. shot. Right. May his name be praised. Yeah. So what day was Jesus meant to be born on? Well, we think, we say, we uh, celebrate it on this 25th of December. Ain't that a real coincidence, though, that he was born actually on Christmas Day? I mean, there's like 400 days in the year, whatever. The likelihood of that, him being born on that day, is like one in a million or whatever, isn't it? Well, one in 365. Or and, uh, whatever, I mean, closer no, to a million know. or whatever. He might have been born in the winter. Did Jesus used to get two presents at a time, a Christmas present and a birthday present? People didn't keep Christmas in those days. People didn't creep Christmas as... Why, because they were so poor? No, no, they didn't know of it. Why nowadays? Why does Jesus go around with them reindeers? <laughs> Jesus doesn't go around with them reindeers. But, let's be honest, does Jesus really exist or is it just your dad dressed up? <laughs> Jesus exists, but it's not Jesus that's the person dressed up. I, but you was just saying that because you don't want to ruin the surprise for the kids or whatever. <laughs> but let's be honest, just me and you, it is, it's your dad dressed up in it. It's not really Jesus coming. It's not Jesus coming. It, we never said it was. Aye, for real. Right, okay. So this Santa Claus character, people do what you said. Aye. Yes, and uh, someone generous, someone good wants to give you a present, don't they? Aye. Yes, yes. What is the story of Christmas. You have this couple, recently married, and Mary is expecting, she's pregnant. Aye. And there is nowhere for them to stay. What, they ain't nowhere for them to stay? Nowhere for them to stay. Everywhere's full. But that's because it's Christmas Eve, isn't it? No, it's by <laughs> one it's Christmas, but it was this big registration of the people. Who was the wise men? They were students of the star maps and of books of those days. And I heard they gave him some prezzies, is yes, that true? Yes, that's right. They gave him some kind of incense, frankincense, 
What is frankincense? Is it like a herb? <laughs> yes, it's a perfume made from a herb. I think I tried somewhere that in Amsterdam. <laughs> is it like, is it quite strong? It's certainly not the kind of thing people are famous for getting in Amsterdam anyway. For real? Yeah. Do you reckon they was given more than an eighth of it? <laughs> for real? They got more than an eighth? Yeah, because these were big, rich, wise men that brought Do you reckon they got as much as an ounce of it? I don't know. <laughs> Could be. What other religion celebrate Christmas? I don't know another religion that celebrates Christmas. What about the Buddhas? They must celebrate Christmas. I mean, they celebrate anything. <laughs> they were welcome to celebrate it. What is Ramalama Ding Dong? <laughs> Ramadan is a time when the Islamic people uh, give themselves a fast, a month of being quiet and being holy and giving themselves some self-discipline. What is the best present to give, the best, Reverend? The best present to give is your love. Yeah, that sounds a bit rubbish, do it? It, <laughs> it, it, it? it better to give PlayStation or Dreamcast. <laughs> Which one is the best? I don't know which is the best. Do you think if Jesus was alive today, and I ain't saying he ain't, he would give PlayStation or Dreamcast? I don't know. But what do you reckon? I PlayStation, don't know. what? <laughs> no, I don't. Probably PlayStation. Of course, you know, it's old school, but some of the games is better. Neody is coming back, like, you know, Return of the Muck. Do you think he is actually around today? Jesus is available for us to be in touch with, yes, uh, but you won't see him physically. Because there is a geezer around the Sainsbury's in Egham who go around and shout, Hello, I is Jesus, I is yeah. Jesus. Yeah. D actually, no, he say I is Jackie Chan. <laughs> Do you reckon he is Jackie Chan? No, I think he's deluded. Now, Christmas is a time for giving presents even though it's a massive hassle. And it is also time to think of children. Some of them is so poor that they cannot even afford a pair of Nike Air Jordans and have to wear iTech instead. The art goes out to them at this time. Now these kids here ain't that poor, but they is well annoying. Now little Marvin, you wanted a PlayStation, didn't it? You, Johnny, you wanted a... I wanted a rocket to a car. And you, Tommy, wanted a Barbie doll. Well, let's see what we's got. Marvin, ask me no questions, I tell me no lies. Johnny, maybe next year, if you's a good boy, you get the real thing. And you tell me, how's about this? Use them well. You two, I ain't, I ain't got you nothing. I mean, Sunday ain't got you nothing. Oh. What? Ain't got no family who could give you something? No. Who have this? <laughs> As we stand here at the end of the year, let's think back over how much we have achieved over the last millennium. <laughs> One thousand years ago, we were still all monkeys. Now, thanks to something called evolution, we is now all homosexuals. <laughs> But what will we be in a thousand years' time? I don't know. Do you? No. Didn't think so. <laughs> but most important, for this next mammalian, let's keep it real and let's keep it clean. Peace, love, stance. <laughs> Let it rip goes. Ding dong, fair little boy. Did you just say don't? Ding dong, fair little boy. Say it again, do you know what I mean? Even with angels singing. She said don't. Happy Easter. <laughs>